Glutathione, the miracle molecule. In this video, we're going to talk about the conditions your body will have to struggle through that are associated with low glutathione levels. Hi, this is J. Mike of Glutathione, the miracle molecule. Let's get started. Scientists have called glutathione the master immune molecule. There are over 171,000 articles, clinical studies, and peer-reviewed studies conducted on glutathione. You'll find them in PubMed, and you can go here to see them, the information about those PubMed studies. Realize that glutathione is just as important to your survival as oxygen. You see, without glutathione, your blood cannot chemically deliver oxygen to your cells. How long can you hold your breath for? Well, before you pass out, that is. You need glutathione to be able to breathe, to get the oxygen into your cells. It is also the key ingredient determining how long you live, how healthy you are going to be, and how fast you recover from illness, even if you're going to get sick. It impacts your life every day, physically and mentally. In fact, it's involved in more than 400 life functions in your body. We're going to talk about some of the conditions you might have to endure or suffer through when you have low glutathione levels. So let's get started. We will outline the big five, and those five are neurological conditions, cardiovascular conditions, immune conditions, the big C, cancer conditions, and a final one that groups together thyroid, pancreatic, and inflammation, and any other conditions. We'll go into more detail about these individual conditions in other videos. We start off with neurological conditions. Number one, ADHD and ADD. Number two, ALS, or what most people know of as Lou Gehrig's disease. Number three, Alzheimer's disease. Number four, anxiety. Number five, autism. Number six, bipolar disorders. Number seven, dementia. Number eight, depression. Number nine, Huntington's disease. Number 10, migraines. Number 11, multiple sclerosis. Number 12, Parkinson's disease. Number 13, schizophrenia. Now again, these situations or conditions are backed up by studies in various places. Number one, like I showed you in PubMed. For example, go to pubmed.gov and simply enter in the search area two words, glutathione and the malady or situation you want to learn about and see just how many studies have already been conducted. For example, watch here. I'll put in here glutathione, then a space, then dementia. Notice that there are 1,432 results. Now you can also go to Google search and type the same two words. You'll find an article just last year in 2021 about increasing glutathione levels lowers Alzheimer's pathology. Let's continue to category number two, cardiovascular conditions. Number one, angina. Number two, arthrosclerosis. Number three, cholesterol. Number four, erectile dysfunction. Number five, heart disease. Number six, hypertension. Number seven, stroke. Again, you can find more information on these in the articles I talked about early in PubMed and just in general in Google. Now, category number three, immune conditions. Number one, acne. Number two, allergies. Number three, asthma. Number four, gingivitis. Number five, hepatitis. Number six, HIV AIDS. Number seven, lupus. Number eight, Lyme disease. Number nine, rheumatoid arthritis. Number 10, viral infections. The next major category is the big C, cancer. 
And the types of cancers we talk about are number one, breast, number two, cervical, number three, colon, number four, leukemia, number five, lung, and number six, ovarian. Our last category is a catch-all, which is highlighted by thyroid, pancreatic, and inflammatory conditions. Number one, accelerated aging. Number two, arthritis. Number three, chronic fatigue. Number four, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Number five, cones and colitis. Number six, cystic fibrosis. Number seven, diabetes. Number eight, emphysema. Number nine, eyesight issues, macular degeneration. Number 10, ga number 10 gastric ulcers. Number 11, heavy metal toxicity. Number 12, hepatitis. Number 13, hyperthroidism. Number 14, hypothyroidism. Yes, there's both hyper and hypothyroidism. Number 15, infertility. Number 16, inflammatory bowel syndrome. Number 17, inflammatory skin conditions. Number 18, influenza. Number 19, kidney disease. And 20, pancreatitis. Now, this information should be interesting. Actually, rather alarming to you. And the reason is, as we age, we lose a lot of our glutathione and our glutathione producing capabilities. There are additional destroyers of your glutathione levels, like free radicals in your body, chemicals in the world, heavy metals in your body, pollution, food that just isn't nutritious, and sometimes actually harmful to your life and health, injuries, wounds, and many other things. So you can see how critical glutathione is to your body, with again over 400 different functions that it performs. So a question might, pop up in your mind, how can I increase those levels or supplement your glutathione levels? And that's the subject of one of our next videos. How to add that to your body and add it effectively. Bioavailable. Well, again, thanks for watching this video and look forward to seeing you on the next The Miracle Molecule Glutathione video.